Hi YouTube, it's Kathy and welcome to the A to Z of Queer Lit Part 11. As you may be able to deduce, that introduction means I've done this 10 times before and that will be down in a playlist down below in case you've missed any of them. The intent of this challenge is to name 26 books, one for each letter of the alphabet, using either a letter from the title or from the author's name. I'm actually super behind on putting these videos out because I have enough for part 11 and part 12, but we're just going to do 11 today. As always, for when I put out these videos, these are books I have actually read and would recommend to you. In celebration of the ninth round of the Queer Lit Readathon being just around the corner, I think what I'm going to do is tell you the title and the author, and then use these squares from the current bingo board and previous bingo boards to let you know some of the representations. So I think this one is going to go by fairly quickly. I might say a thing or two about each of the books, but I'm not going to go super in-depth. If you want me to wrap up any of these books, I've actually done that all in the past, and it's very easy to find me talking about exactly that book because uh, not only do I have the weekly entertainment playlist, which is where I wrap up everything I read, watch, and listen to on a weekly basis, but because I put timestamps in all of my videos, if you search my name and a book title, that video will come up and then you can just click that timestamp and you can watch what I thought. With all that said and done, let's get into the list. A is for Affliction by Laura Hall. This is a memoir about what it was like to grow up with a father who came out as queer in San Francisco a few decades ago. B is for Stay Gold by Tobley McSmith. This is about a trans guy who goes stealth in his new high school and the cis cheerleader that he falls for. C is for Cancel Sean Boston by Sevy Leister and RK Gold. This book is dual perspective and it's about two different characters that make YouTube channels near the beginning of 2020 for the reasons that you might think, and they end up in somewhat of a plot to take down an internet douchebag. D is for The Dead and the Dark by Courtney Gold. This is about a girl whose two dads are ghost hunters, and that's all you really need to know. E is for If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich. This is about two boy band members who might like each other more than they think. F is for That Full Moon Feeling by Ashley Robin Franklin. This is a graphic novel about a witch and a werewolf going on some disastrous dates. G is for The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. This book is about kids of astronauts and journalism and internet fame. H is for A Touch of Ruckus by Ash Van Otterloo. Our main character can get memories from objects and our love interest is non-binary. I is for It Came From The Sky by Chelsea Sedati. What if you could fake aliens? And also your mom is super into selling things for this MLM. J is for Juliet Takes a Breath by Gabby Rivera. I specifically read the graphic novel and it had fantastic art. K is for Too Bright to See by Kyle Lukoff. This is a middle grade book about a character who has recently lost their uncle and things that they learn about their uncle and then ultimately themselves. L is for A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This one is dark academia with a bit of a murder plot. M is for May the Best Man Win by Z.R. Eller. When the head cheerleader transitions in his final year of high school, he wants to win prom king, but so does his ex-boyfriend. N is for Defect by Nino Cipri. This one is the second in the Littenverse series, and it has to do with a side character that was mentioned in the first novella for not showing up to work, and you get to learn exactly why. O is for How to Be Aced by Rebecca Virgis. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's a graphic novel memoir about this woman growing up and realizing that she is ace and that that is fine. P is for Such a Pretty Smile by Kirsty Demeester. This one is twisted. That's what I'm going to tell you. It has to do with some intergenerational things, some horror elements. Just uh, maybe check the trigger warnings on this one before going into it. Q is for She Drives Me Crazy by Kelly Quinlan. Not only does this have a rivals to lovers thing going on, it's also got fake dating. R is for Under the Whispering Door by T.J. Klune. This one is a whimsical romance between a man who just recently passed away and the guy that's supposed to help him get to the afterlife. S is for Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo. This one is definitely messy queers. This one has to do with a character whose best friend died and him trying to figure out how that actually happened because he does not accept what has been told to him and then also him realizing that they were a little bit more than best friends. T is for Taproot by Keezy Young, which is an absolutely adorable graphic novel. U is for Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Gailey. This one is Queer Rebel Librarians on Horseback. V is for Victories Greater Than Death by Charlie Jane Anders. This character has been told all her life that one day she will save the world. Now can she? 
W is for Kate in Waiting by Becky Albertalli. Our main character and her best guy friend always have crushes on the same people, but what happens when one of those crushes is actually attainable because he moves to their school, and who is going to get to date him? X is for The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dannon. She's an ex-sex worker who owns a sex education company. He is a rabbi. Y is for The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. What would you do if you thought an evil spirit was trying to take over your body? Z is for Iron Widow by Ziran J. Zhao. In this world, two people are used to pilot these mecha robots. The actual pilot and then a woman who is basically used as a battery. When one of these pilots kills our protagonist's sister, she vows revenge. And there you have it, another 26 queer book recommendations using the alphabet as a framework. Like I said, the playlist is linked down below, so if you haven't seen all of the videos, be sure to check that out. What books would you put on this list, especially for the tricky letters? Let me know about it down in the comments below. On the way down to the comments, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be very nice of you. If you don't feel like leaving a comment, but want to make sure that I know you are here, just leave me an emoji or a smiley face if you happen to be on your keyboard. Some people have asked if there's a way to financially support this channel, so I set up a coffee account, which is a digital tipping service. The link for that, as always, is down below. You can like and share this as you see fit, and I will see you very soon. Bye!